Hello everyone, and welcome back to the lab. In this video, I'll be preparing dibenzoyl methane by the Claisen condensation. Dibenzoyl methane apparently has some anti-cancer properties, and it can also be used to make some heterocycles, although I don't plan to use it for either of these purposes. What I would like to do is make triboluminescent crystals. This is shown by Nerd Rage, and I would like to do this if I ever get any europium. First, the ketone, in this case acetophenone, is deprotonated by a strong base. This produces the carbanion you see here, which can also be written as the enolate. The carbanion is a good nucleophile and attacks the electrophilic carbonyl carbon of ethyl benzoate. This pushes the pi electrons up onto the oxygen to give this intermediate the electrons then go back to form the double bond and push off the ethoxy leaving group. This reforms the sodium ethoxide catalyst and produces the product. But it is in a very basic solution, so one of the protons is pulled off the metal, which then gives the enolate here, which is rather stable. And we finally have to do an acid workup to give the enol, which is a totmer of the dibenzoyl ketone. The enol form is actually more stable than the keto form because it forms this pseudo six-membered ring by hydrogen bonding. But for some reason we still call it by its keto form dibenzoyl methane. First, I added 20 milliliters of ethyl benzoate to a 50 milliliter round bottom flask. Next, I added in 3 grams of acetophenone. I put that aside, and in the meantime, I dissolved 0.85 grams of sodium in about 10 milliliters of dry ethanol. The flask with the acetophenone and ethyl benzoate was set on the heating mantle, and I set up this apparatus around it. It consists of an addition funnel, a condenser, a Claisen adapter, and a long wire to let me to stir the mixture. I added the sodium ethoxide solution in ethanol to the addition funnel. When the flask had reached about 125 Celsius, I started slow and careful addition of sodium ethoxide. Because the mixture was hotter than the boiling point of ethanol, it started sputtering and I used the mixer to help this. As soon as you add the ethoxide, it begins to get very, very thick. This is why I had to use a metal wire because I did not have a mechanical stirrer and magnetic stirring will not work for something this thick. Eventually, I had added all of the ethoxide solution, and ethanol was boiled off with stirring. This was continued until it appeared that no more ethanol was being driven off. It left this very, very viscous mixture you see here. I let it cool down to room temperature, and poured in about 10 milliliters of water to dissolve everything. To my surprise, it left a one layer solution. This was weird because I had water and ethyl benzoate and they should have separated. But no matter because I added a solution of 3 grams sulfuric acid in 10 milliliters of water and it separated into two layers. This was separated, washed with a sodium bicarbonate solution, and then washed with water. I set up for distillation and started by distilling off the ethyl acetate. Once all the ethyl acetate came off, I applied vacuum and started distilling the mixture under vacuum. At a vacuum of about 30 torr, ethyl benzoate came over at about 90 Celsius. Also unused acetophenone will come over as well. The mixture boiled very violently and was very close to but did not splash over into the receiving vessel. 
I ended up recovering about 90% of the unused ethyl benzoate. Eventually the flask reached about 150 Celsius and nothing else was coming over so I took it off heat and allowed it to cool. It left these crystals here. For some reason the footage just disappeared but I recrystallized the dirty brown solid you see here in about 10 milliliters of methanol to give some lightly yellow pure crystals of dibenzoyl acetone. I got 1.63 grams or a percent yield of 30.3%. A huge thank you goes out to the gayest person on Patreon, as well as Aussie Chemist, Clifford Robinsonwald, and Piper Liam. Thank you guys so much for your contributions. Links are in the description.